Alright, what's up guys? I Shogi here, back with another video. And for the first time in a while, I'm not out of breath when I'm starting a video. I told my mom to throw up her phone to me just now, and I was like, alright mom, because we have it. Let me explain to you, uh, on the second floor of my house, like the upstairs, there's like this little balcony that looks over like one of the living rooms where we have like a couch, one of the bigger TVs, so we watch, um, where we watch like movies and such. And, uh, my mom's little laptop a little station in the corner on a on a computer desk and so the computer desk corner is the corner where there's like the balcony up overhead that you can look over and uh, Miles like alright mom throw it underhand to me she's like I can't I have to throw it overhand so my mom being she's a runner so she doesn't have like a lot of muscle like in her arms and plus she's like half a century old so she's like I can't throw it underhand I have I have to throw it overhand I was like alright whatever so she throws it underhand, or overhand, not underhand, because she just said she couldn't. And we have, like, these bars, like, um, just like any, uh, banister that, like, comes up. Only it's, like, across, because it's the, uh, it's the balcony, but it's, like, the same wood design with, like, the bars as the banister that leads the upstairs. And it bounces off one of those bars, doesn't even make it up over, like, the side of the, uh, of the... Dang, why do I keep for balcony? That, why do I keep forgetting that word? It's such a simple word, and I've used it like five times already. But it bounced off one of the bars and went and like landed like flat on the uh, the little laptop laptop station. The screen went like uh, black and white. And of course, it's an iPhone. As much as I'm not an Apple fan, as much as I kind of respect their business model, um, I'm Team Android. But ironically, yes, I am using an Apple. And she's almost cried. She pretty much exploded for about like a second and a half like crap and she's like it won't even turn on even though it was already on it like it just reset by itself I don't know why but kudos to the iOS of this phone I guess for fixing itself but then uh she made me come down and grab it and then I had to come get it and then it turned on and then I realized I had to go back down to get her to use the password to unlock it but uh yeah and it's that time of year again um it only happens twice a year where I get really entangled in school because it's the last four weeks and uh, we have finals coming up and I've just been busy and I'm sure you guys can relate and uh, how busy you've been I'm sure you've been cutting off on the video watching yourselves unless you're in college in which case some colleges have already gotten out of school but I just wanted to tell you this game I played Saturday and that is called kidnapped alright and kidnapped is a game we played it with maybe Maybe 20 kids. I don't know. It was like a picnic that my crew got together. And uh, we finished eating. We played this game. And we all got into these teams of four. I guess maybe there were 20, 24 of us. Tw maybe 25 because I think there was a team of five. But we got into teams of four. Each team had to have a driver, a navigator, and two hostages, all right? And I decided to be the navigator my first round with my boy David. And we pretty much played awesome music the whole time with our uh, our hostages but we trade hostages with the team and we we were we were allotted five minutes from the time the game started we all got in our cars and the game started at one o'clock right so we had five minutes to drive around in the state park that we were in and after the five minutes were up so at 105 we had to get out of our cars and on the honor system at 105 we had to get out of our cars and we had five more minutes to walk our hostages somewhere and the whole time our hostages were blindfolded all right and I must say, just because this is a hilarious part of the story, and I'm really mad that I just let my mom's phone lock on itself, because I started the commentary without putting the lock on never, we were playing an Inception instrumental, and I'm sure 90% of you have seen Inception, like the loud, like, like those noises, like the dun 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 dun, and like we were yelling, like, shut up, to our uh, hostages the whole time, like, uh, just, it was so funny, oh my lord, but, uh, we dropped them off like in a very far back like wooded area with like with mud and places like <laughs> it's so funny we ran back to our car and like by the time we got back to our car and started it uh, since I was the navigator with David they were like walking out of like the wooded area because after the five minutes that uh, you were allotted to uh, navigate your hostages they are allowed to whip out their phones they're allowed to like take off their blindfolds and their job is to call the navigator and have the driver come pick them up and take them back to the parking lot where we had our picnic in the park. In the first round, I was the navigator, and our hostages got dropped off in some freaking recess of the park. It took us forever to find them. We ended up getting second to last, and that kind of sucked. But my second round, I was put actually on a team of five, 
and we got second place, even though I was one of the three hostages. We had to pick up all three hostages, and I had to run for a really long time to find like a sign where I could like navigate my driver and navigator to me. And it was really just a long, intense game. And I've been waiting for this video to buffer in 1080p, so I had a lot of time to record this. And I'm gonna go uh, let my mom unlock this phone, and I'll catch you guys later. Still recording? Yeah. Do that. Oh. It's ready. Yeah. I was wearing glasses.